we are going to configure a shared folder. And in the shared folder, say for example, there are three users using the shared folder and each user can only access their own subfolder. So user A can only see subfolder A, user B can only see subfolder B and user C can only see subfolder C. Let's start. Yeah, start by going to Synology. Go to the control panel. I'm going to create a group. Then user and group, so you're going to create a group. What is this group for? This group allow you to attach all the user to this particular new group. And in this uh, new group, we are going to control all the user to see only their own subfolder. So I'm going to create a group here and I call this private group. You might like to add in the description. I have created uh, a new user here, uh, Debra. So I'm going to attach Debra to this particular private group. So, add. so Debra is attached to the private group. In the private group, we are going to create a shared folder. The shared folder can be a Plex. Let's say, for example, when you're doing Plex, I'm not going to use Plex as a shared folder. Uh, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to create a test folder, share test folder later on, and then I'll attach that test folder into this private group. So the starting change here, next. <clears throat> no need to add any quota, next. No application, next. No speed limit, no need to control that. Uh, confirm, we have created a group, done. So your private group is created. Private group here. Now I'm going to create a share folder. In the share folder, presently there are, uh, you can actually use a Plex folder, but I'm going to create a test share folder to demonstrate to you. Create test folder. I shall call this test folder. You need to, uh, make sure you check hide subfolder and files from user. Make sure you check this. Next. I'm not going to do any encryption. Next. No advanced uh, setting. Next. Confirm this. Next. <clears throat> um, this shared folder. Uh, you attach this chat folder to the local group that you created just now and that local group is called private group so you're going to do some configuration here go to custom in this particular chat private group you you want to only point to the main folder not the subfolder and uh, all user attached to the private group can only read the shared folder and later on we are going to control the user of this private group to individual subfolder so done this is done close save it you can see private group read only apply Let's go to the uh, file station. Shall so close this, go to the file station. In the file station, you can see that is a test folder and in the test folder, that a folder. Okay. I shall call this a first subfolder has a test 
or maybe just subfolder A. A and, and I'm going to create another subfolder B. Now, test subfolder in this uh, test subfolder. Remember the uh, private group, the private group can access this subfolder only and this private group is attached to Debra. So at this moment, Debra can see the test folder and Debra cannot see subfolder A and subfolder B. B she, can only, she can only see subfolder, test folder. Uh, you want Debra to see only subfolder A. So go to subfolder A and uh, Use use uh let's let's go to the test folder first. You must do some configuration in the test folder. In the test folder, go to properties. You let's check on the permission. You can see uh, the private group is attached to this. So this is done already. So that Deborah who is attached to the private group can see this test folder. So I am going to allow Deborah can only see subfolder A. So go to subfolder A, do the same thing properties uh, go to permission at the moment only the administrator can see subfolder A so you're gonna you're gonna create Debra to see this particular this particular group so create you're gonna point Debra to this group so search for Debra and you want since this subfolder belongs to Debra you allow her to read and write and save it you can see read and write and it's done let's go to sub uh, save it let's go to sub folder b you notice sub folder b has no configuration okay if i go to the properties uh only the administrator can see sub folder b so debra can access the test folder can read this and she can only read and write on her particular subfolder A. So just in case you want to have another sharing, another user sharing the test folder B, test folder, and the second user can only access subfolder B, you do the same thing just as like you have done for uh, uh, subfolder A. So you leave subfolder A alone and subfolder B, you create permission, create a, create a permission for the particular a new user that only access sub for the B. So right now I am going to uh, lock up from here just to show you Debra can only can see the subfolder, uh, test folder and subfolder A. So I'm gonna lock up from here. Um, file section. Okay, this is the shared folder. You look at the shared folder. You can see Debra can only access can access subfolder A, and Debra can uh, create a folder. Debra can upload. Yeah, uh, can even uh, do all the uh, other uh, other setting that is available. But you notice that if I go to the test folder, uh, Debra can't create a new create a new folder here so say for example he, he tried to and uh, notice she has no permission and if she tried to upload into the test folder uh, she upload she has no permission yes you can see that yeah so that's it that's how you configure uh, any user sharing a folder but they can only see this subfolder.